Today on Great Georgia Jobs, tapping into technology careers, from robotics to cybersecurity, the Peach State is quickly becoming the Silicon Valley of the South, and WorkSource Georgia is at the center of it all. From Georgia's coastline to the Blue Ridge Mountains and many points in between, today Georgia is the hottest job starter in the nation, creating high paying jobs and in demand careers. So what are the keys to the future, your future, to learning frontline technology for a new career today? This is your roadmap to fast track education and this is your path to great Georgia jobs. Welcome to Great Georgia Jobs. I'm consumer investigator Dale Cardwell. This show is your how-to guide for career success in Georgia. And Georgia is proving to be one of the hottest job markets in the nation, in part because of its deep pool of skilled talent, especially in the field of high-tech mechanics. That's why I'm here at the Georgia Vocational Rehabilitation Center in Warm Springs, where Georgians with special needs are becoming proficient in robotic programming and maintenance. This just took me only like one day. Merrill Richardson is not one to brag about his technical skills, but with less than a year of training, it's obvious he's got this wired. The machine is tracing the shapes that I had programmed onto it. The machine he's programming is a FANUC industrial robot, the type of automation equipment used in manufacturing plants throughout the state and around the globe. Although Merrill makes it look easy, don't be mistaken, not just anyone can do this. Manufacturing in general, just most skilled trades, uh, does take a special talent. Billy Garrett is the robotics and CNC, computer numerical control programming instructor at the Vocational Rehabilitation Center in Warm Springs. He says it's impressive to see students, many who have cognitive and physical challenges, grasp this technology so quickly. When students come in, everybody's a little bit apprehensive about, you know, what they're getting into. But when you see them leave, that you know, they got a great amount of confidence because they're learning something that most population can't do. Robots like these have broad benefits felt throughout our modern economy. These machines are essential for streamlining today's manufacturing, assembly, and industrial systems. Having skilled talent who know how to program them okay. is critical to maintain efficient production. What it's doing, it's picking up white peels first, mm -hmm. putting them in the peel bottle, and it will just keep repeating that cycle till all the peels have been picked up. That's pretty cool. 21-year-old Brent Mashi is also learning FANUC programming. Despite having both hearing and speech impairments, neither are barriers to his success. There's a way to overcome it, but writing, testing, drawing, and sign language. But when you get used to it, they become pretty easy. And having an education campus dedicated to helping young adults overcome their learning obstacles makes it even easier. Once a resort town, home to the famed healing warm springs frequented by President Franklin Delano Roosevelt for polio treatment, the facility was transformed to provide free vocational rehabilitation opportunities to empower Georgians with disabilities. Roosevelt Warm Springs is the best kept secret when it comes to transition opportunities for young adults leaving high school and wanting to enter not only the workforce but become as independent as they can be. Dr. Lee Brinkley Bryan is the Director of Transition Services at the Roosevelt Warm Springs facility. She says the comprehensive vocational, academic, and life skills training, coupled with an abundance of emotional support, gives students the confidence to fulfill career and personal goals. Even after 90 years, we're still providing rehabilitation services and hoping that what we do here makes a lifelong change for an individual, not only in what they're able to do, but how they feel about themselves. And that's why Brent is encouraging other young adults to seize this opportunity as he has. When you stay here for law, it will become easier once you have a, a good teacher who can help you. You too can get wired into a robotics career. Find out how by visiting greatgeorgiajobs.com. Just ahead on Great Georgia Jobs, see how these Georgians are getting wired into technology careers through their local WorkSource Georgia office. And later, meet a South Georgia entrepreneur who is connecting his rural community with high-speed internet. That's next on Great Georgia Jobs.
The Technical College System of Georgia, with 22 colleges, 85 campuses, hundreds of workforce training programs to choose from, a quality higher education is affordable. With TCSG, cost is not an obstacle. Take the HOPE Career Grant. It covers 100% of tuition for students pursuing a career in any one of 17 high-demand fields. TCSG, meaningful careers start here. Apply now. Visit apply.tcsg.edu. Welcome back to Great Georgia Jobs. With thousands of unfilled positions in some of Georgia's fastest growing industries, there's never been a better time for job seekers to polish their skills, obtain training, and position themselves to step into their next career opportunity. WorkSource Georgia is the state's federally funded employment and training system. The mission's simple, to connect talent with opportunity. Managed by the Office of Workforce Development, the Federal Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act provides funds to help Georgia job seekers experience sustainability and success in today's workforce. With 19 local offices throughout the state, WorkSource Georgia deploys customized training programs and services to job seekers of all backgrounds. Whether you've been recently laid off, seeking to switch gears in your career, or desire to transition to a new industry, there's likely a WorkSource program or resource that can help. Overcome your barriers to employment by taking the first step in connecting with your local WorkSource office. Visit WorkSourceGeorgia.com to get started. Since technology is one of the fastest growing industries in the state, WorkSource Cobb is creating opportunities to sink Georgians into the high demand digital career network. The only prereqs are discipline and drive. WorkSource Georgia's Shamika Johnson's at the WorkSource Cobb Career Center to explain. Dale, many corporations rely on technology to meet their bottom line. And since Georgia is home to several Fortune 500 companies, the need for tech-savvy talent is at full tilt. Yes, if it doesn't have a Northridge. Look at you with the Northridge. <laughs> Christina Hubbard has a flair for fixing things. Which objective is it? I have the objective support. And an innate knowledge nope. of IT. So, so CAT. But despite being plugged into the industry for almost a decade, so there was a disconnect between her experience and her earning potential. I was landing these great jobs at top companies, IBM, NCR, but I didn't have the paper to back it up. So she researched several network support education programs, but found <laughs> most were expensive and required a significant commute, making it almost impossible to attend, especially for a single mom. A lot of the programs that I did research were charging about $1,000, $2,000, and then you had to go really far out. So but within her know. network of friends, she heard about an opportunity in her own community, a free computer training and certification <laughs> course offered by WorkSource Cobb. So how do you exit out of the commands? Ebony Nina is an instructor for the 16-week course that's offered to anyone looking to reboot their career. We really look for having um, a strong curiosity and a strong interest in how technology works. Brandon Nettles had a basic framework for technological repairs, but the practical hands-on instruction enabled him to expand his expertise, get certified, and prepare him to land a well-paying job. It's a life changer because you're able to get into uh, the IT field and you need the A-plus to basically start it. So get into this field, I'll be able to make more money and be able to really do all the things that I want to do. Graduates of the course can go on to a career as a network analyst, system administrator, or a help desk technician, positions that pay very well and are also in high demand. Schools are not churning out enough computer science grads, not churning out enough people with the hands-on technical know-how, um, and we give them that and in a very rapid pace. The program also provides ongoing career support by connecting students with recruiters from some of the largest companies in Georgia. Make sure if you haven't already, link in with every person in this class. Right? At the Goodwill Career Center in Smyrna, students are learning software design, developing skills associated with Salesforce administration, and creation of websites. It's called TechBridge. The best way I can describe this program is a 
collaboration of people coming together to not only teach technical certification skills that are going to be useful in the local and national economy, but also to provide um, soft skills and job readiness training that's just as essential. And job readiness is equally as important to ensure career success. And universally they tell us we need people who, to show up on time, every day, ready to work. So we really focus on employability skills, some people call them soft skills or essential skills, so that they know what their career pathway is going to look like and how they're going to fit into that industry and that particular employer. Funded by WorkSource Cobb, this free 16-week course is geared toward young adults interested in entering a career in Georgia's growing technology industry. Ariella, can you take a look at this for me? Jenny Taylor is the vice president at Goodwill of North Georgia. She says TechBridge serves as a pipeline to connect Georgians with Fortune 500 companies. We're really able to connect the local residents who need these skills who want these jobs with the employers who are hiring them. The process was pretty easy. Um, the job interviews were just presented to us and we would just show up. Alexander Helton completed the program and is now a paid intern for Coca-Cola's web development team. And while the TechBridge training didn't cost him any money, he says the connections he made are priceless. So even after the program was over, we still have our, our success coach. And for me, I was lucky enough to have my success coach where I worked in. And with Georgia being a hub for high-tech jobs, it's a field of endless opportunities. Plugging into a career in technology could begin right here at your local WorkSource Georgia office. There are 19 service areas that touch each part of the state, making it easy and convenient to make an appointment or walk in to receive the assistance you need to get plugged into your next career opportunity. Good morning. Hey, how you doing? Good, how can I help you? From the moment you walk in, the customer service representatives will guide you through the registration process. Like a library card, you'll receive your own personal computer login that allows you to access job boards, training opportunities, and certification classes. For some, the next step is meeting with a one-stop career specialist who will evaluate your current level of experience, help you identify a career path, and overcome your personal barriers to employment. The next step is determining your eligibility, assessing your skills, and assisting with career planning and training decisions. All of these steps are intended to help you overcome your personal barriers to employment and most importantly, get you working. All of our training programs assist our clients in becoming more self-sufficient and helping to enhance the skills that they already have. We are WorkSource Georgia, connecting talent with opportunity. Coming up, making a living in a virtual world. See what it takes to level up for a career in Georgia's video game industry. But first, it's time for WorkSource Trivia. What is the average annual income for a video game designer and coder in Georgia? Is it A, $32,000, B, $54,000, C, $78,000, or D, $96,000? Find out in just a minute, right here on Great Georgia Jobs. Business in Georgia has never been better, and companies throughout the state need skilled workers like you to take their business to the next level. Whether you're just entering the workforce or have reached a turning point in your career, WorkSource Georgia can help place you on a fast track towards success. You have the talent. Let us connect you with the opportunity. We are WorkSource Georgia. Welcome back to Great Georgia Jobs. So do you have a guess for today's WorkSource trivia? Here's the question. What's the average annual salary of a digital game designer and coder here in Georgia? Is it A, $32,000, B, $54,000, C, $78,000, or D, $96,000? The average annual income for a digital game designer is around $96,000. Wow, I missed my calling, but it's not too late for you because gamers and the gaming industry certainly have Georgia on their minds. 
Our state's becoming a design hub for digital entertainment, and the demand for creative coders is triggering a nexus of career opportunities. On the battleground of the gods, conquering kingdoms is all fun and games, but in reality, creating this virtual interactive world is serious business. It Pick also, an arbitrary number to do it. Um, Here at the Alpharetta headquarters of Hi Res Studios, creators of the online animated game Smite are preparing to roll out their next feature. Savannah Teams is a feature producer at Hi Res Studios. As a teen growing up in Helen, Georgia, her hobby was playing video games. Video games was my jam. And I remember my very last semester of high school, I, I was like, video games, it all makes sense. Somebody has to create these, so I'm going to find the path to get there. Is PS4 up and running? After graduating from college with a degree in computer game design and development, she took a receptionist position at Hi Res. That was four years ago. I feel like I've been able to get where I wanted to go quicker because I was more willing to take a position that I didn't necessarily see myself in long term, but because that's where they needed me at the time. It was a smart decision because the appetite for interactive online games is insatiable. When you look at the industry charts and just see where gaming has gone, it's now bigger than the movie industry, the music industry. I'm sure there's an upper bound, but we haven't found it yet at an industry level. Stuart Chisholm is the CEO of High res Studios. He says in Georgia alone, the gaming industry generates nearly a billion dollars a year. Because of the high demand, this studio and the nearly 400 others in the state are always searching for a wide scope of innovative talent to craft the games. The biggest requirement for people is that they have a high level of passion around what we do and obviously the right educational background. Anything in the STEAM community, so science, technology, engineering, arts, and math is really a candidate to be employed here. Alexander Greenstein is a programmer for SMITE. He studied computer science in school. Our goal as programmers is trying to figure out all those little logical steps because you're manipulating characters basically in a physical world. So just like you would do physical calculations in, in your physics course or whatever, a lot of those we're doing here using linear algebra and 3D math. But Alexander's biggest advantage was his love of the game. Prior to programming, he was a professional player. When he retired from the esports arena, he came to work for high res. I definitely want to continue creating games, and as long as I can continue that trajectory, my plan is to push that from whatever higher capability that I'm able to do that. Even if you don't have a science background, there are plenty of career opportunities for any Georgian who's got game. We have people here that do testing, so yes, they do get paid to just play video games all day and find bugs with them. We have people that have to do the marketing and the finance and all of these areas that you need for any company to thrive. And it's a thriving industry with endless leveling up opportunities for both Georgia's economy and its workforce. Employment-wise, it said that the industry created around 15,000 jobs. So it's a big deal, and there's lots of people here who feed their families through making great video games, which is a pretty cool way to do it. Want to know how to press start on your coding career in the entertainment and gaming industry? Find out how by visiting greatgeorgiajobs.com. Just ahead, where are they now? We're catching up with some of WorkSource Georgia's greatest success stories from last season. I'm able to care for my daughters and help them to achieve their dreams. That's next on Great Georgia Jobs. Welcome back to Great Georgia Jobs. I'm consumer investigator Dale Cardwell. Last season, we introduced you to Yashika Harrison. She's a telecommunications specialist with Clayton County's local government. In just two short years, she's been promoted to a position she says she was born to do. This is a step up. Yashika Harrison will tell you straight up, the best part of her job is being away from the office. I am not behind a desk all day. I'm outside and we get to 
to go into the various buildings while we put the cameras up. And so that part is a lot of fun. No longer in telecommunications, but still with Clayton County. A promotion has placed Yashika in a role she's relishing. I am now a network infrastructure, so I am identity and access management. So we handle all the access cards. We make sure they have their proper accesses. And this job has given her access to opportunities to further her education and career in technology. I just graduated from Clayton State with a technology management bachelor's degree. I want to get enrolled at Georgia Tech in their master's program for cybersecurity. Well, it wasn't that long ago that Yashika, like so many Georgians, was laid off and searching for a new path. She entered a two-year technology information program at Atlanta Technical College funded by WorkSource Georgia's federal grant, WIOA. Yashika says if she can do it, anyone can. There's something for everybody. They help you financially to get all of that squared away so that you can propel forward with your goals in life. And that's exactly what Yashika plans to do as well. See y'all. Now that's a great Georgia job. A lot of folks these days take life's modern conveniences like high-speed internet for granted. But some Georgia counties are still struggling to make a reliable connection. Joining me now is WorkSource correspondent Marnie Zambri to explain. Dale, there's a tremendous digital divide between Metro Atlanta and Georgia's 124 rural counties. But in one South Georgia farming community, a small business owner is bridging that gap by providing high-speed internet access to thousands of job seekers. These two fibers come in, they bring all the bandwidth in for our whole company and for everything we're feeding in Cordell and Crisp County at this time. Great Turton uh, is the Thomas Edison of Crisp amazing. County. Though he's not an inventor, he and his Southern Fiber Works business partner, David Herlovich, are blazing a fiber optic trail through the rural South Georgia town of Cordell. Three feet, four inches. Necessity is the mother of invention, so it's apt that being a father led to his big idea. We had very slow internet at my house, and my children would come in at night and ask me, Daddy, would you get off the internet so I can get on? And I thought, we need to have better internet in the rural area of Chris County. So he started laying fiber optic lines in his own neighborhood, but in small towns, Word travels fast, and it wasn't long before the city's largest businesses came a calling. We had the hospital, uh, they called, and United Forestry Products called, and then Norboard called. And those are some of the larger employers in Cordell, so we're making a big difference. And the difference is being noticed well beyond Georgia. Other rural communities across the nation are asking for his expertise with expanding their own yes, broadband uh, capabilities. Yeah. Here. I've met with people from Texas, I've met with people from Alabama to come and spend the day with me to show them how do you do this in a South Georgia town. And Greg is optimistic that his enterprise will encourage residents to stay and contribute to their hometown economies. People like Justin Smith. He was raised in Cordell and was attending South Georgia Technical College when he was recruited by Southern Fiber Works. This is where I grew up. Um, so it's, it's special to me that I get to work with something that's, you know, advancing while staying in my home, small hometown, you know. And providing career opportunities to his neighbors in Crisp County makes this business venture even sweeter for Greg. There's always going to be a need for technicians to splice, to put in the cable, and to run the cables to the houses and businesses. So it is a future-proof career. The U.S. Department of Agriculture has committed millions of dollars to delivering e-connectivity to rural communities, making careers in telecommunications in demand and, by definition, a great Georgia job. Thanks, Marnie. Still to come, cyber security. Learn how to make a great living by keeping the nation's digital and military networks safe. See how you can secure your own position. That's next on Great Georgia Jobs.
Welcome to South Georgia Technical College, where we make it happen. Whether your dream is to become a welder, a nurse, a restaurant owner, electrician, or aircraft mechanic, South Georgia Technical College can help you make it happen. SGTC has over 200 associate degree, diploma, and technical certificate of credit programs of study available. Visit our website at southgatech.edu for more information or to apply or call 800-928-0283. So what are you waiting for? Let's make it happen. Welcome back to Great Georgia Jobs. Government agencies and private industries rely on cyber intelligence to secure our country's digital networks. In Augusta, Georgia, the U.S. Army, a state university, and a local technical college have joined forces to teach Georgians how to safeguard the nation's infrastructure and economic interests against cyber threats. From finance and filmmaking to travel and technology, Georgia's largest industries rely on cybersecurity. The industry is exploding. Um, everybody realizes just how vulnerable we are. We serve uh, business and industry, and those businesses are realizing the need to um, increase security, and so that's exactly what we uh, teach our students how to do. One of those star students is Jared Zieski. Technology has always come easy to him, but not everything is so effortless. His biggest hurdle has nothing to do with his skill. Jared is legally blind and a person with albinism. Throughout my childhood, it was a lot of bullying when it comes to it. There's something different about me. <laughs> it's very apparent, so people would pick up on that and immediately pick on it, you know? But that never stopped Jared. He's now on a path to a career in cyber networking, thanks to Augusta Tech Cyber Institute. I do feel like I've been more challenged, but I try to not let that affect my outlook on things. He's incredibly smart. He's going to go a long way. He's going to be one of our star students that will graduate and have his pick of jobs. More good news for Jared's career path is the pay. Not only do you have unfilled jobs, but we have unfilled jobs that pay well. There's estimated to be more than 10,000 cybersecurity job openings in Georgia. To keep up with growing workforce demand, the state started the sprawling Georgia Cyber Center three years ago. It's an ambitious collaboration between Augusta State University, Augusta Technical College, the Georgia Department of Defense, state and federal partners, as well as private companies. We are trying to make this a one-stop shop to where we can take a student, get them excited about cyber security educational programs, but they can also intern with some of our industry partners that we have in the building. For the center, the key to being at the forefront is keeping up with new technology and new threats. As long as we're in technology, it's going to continue to be a constant changing threat. So it's our job to teach the most current and the most responsible way to react to these threats. I look forward to actually landing the career I want and pursuing my passion of computer networking. There's so much inspiration and information you can take away from today's success stories. You can plot your own path to success by visiting greatgeorgiajobs.com. There, you'll find WorkSource Georgia Career Center locations, resources for job seekers, and links to all the stories you've watched here today. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time right here on Great Georgia Jobs.